arrived at the small pond straight after work on a Friday. Uh, the light's fading, so I need to get a quick look around, almost a run round before seeing where I'm gonna fish. Love it. After my walk around last night by the time I'd got set up it was completely pitch black so slight pub chucks um, I landed in the same swim as last time because I couldn't really see anything any signs or anything um, so I am again at 18 wraps on the spot that I found last time about a month ago it's quite a bitterly cold wind we had some mild weather last week and it sort of lulled me into thinking it was going to be nice this week but the wind has really taken the temperature down um so nothing through the night not sure how accurate my casting was last night anyway so we're sort of through bike time i've had the deeper out this morning just around the corner here um all the way out to sort of 15 wraps and back in i've managed to find a little spot um which is not very big at all but it's about nine and a bit wraps on the edge of this roadie here and so i'm going to try and bushwhack that out there's a big crosswind but if i start it far enough left it will um, hopefully feed its way back in that's just a third option really um i've got so then i'll have one out long range 18 wraps and a zig also so I've bought, I've been, I'm always sucked into marketing bits and pieces. So um, I've bought these liquid rigs, uh, sort of zigs with um, little barrels you can put inside. I'll show you later. <coughs> uh, you can squeeze liquid in and they just give off a nice essence and a, and a nice slick for a few hours after putting it in. But again, I wasn't sure exactly how accurate my casting was in the dark. So tonight hopefully will be a better chance because I'll know exactly where I am uh, with, with spots and whatnot. It's still beautiful around here, even though it's Baltic. Uh, it was nice and cosy last night, slept really well. Um, yeah, so no, gonna have a coffee in another hour or so, um, or mid-morning-ish. I'll probably bring one rod in and bushwhack it out to the new spot. Uh, and then later on this afternoon, reset the other two. So see how we go. Deep is such a handy tool. And when you whack it on the old bushwhacker, you can buy these attachments, I don't think they're official, but it sits perfectly, it sort of sits on the water, bobs up and down, sort of finds its own level. You can be absolutely confident, once you've found a spot and worked out the ramps, clipped it up, before you drop it, you know that it's going to be dropped directly above a nice and clear. This just gives you an idea of how weedy this pond is. Um, even through the winter months, it just doesn't seem to die back. Um, the, the, the distant spots that I've found are sort of beyond the weed bed. The weed bed seems to run right through the middle and is still quite high up. Obviously, this is about eight foot round here um, and it's easily just over halfway up the column. So it's a bit tricky. I just decided to try and find another separate spot to my, my distance 19 wrap spots for the bushwhacker just to mix it up a bit so as you can see it took quite a bit of effort but i did eventually find one um but this deep is really cool if you haven't used one before this is what it's like um and it's a really handy piece of kit
what I was talking about earlier it's pretty much a traditional zig but instead of foam or you can put foam in as well and soak the foam if I can get it out there's a little barrel in here which it will come out eventually oh there you go so there's a little barrel here it's got little holes in it and that slides in where the foam goes so they provide this little bottle of liquid and it's quite thick so when you squeeze it into here <clears throat> fills it right up so it sort of squirts out a little bit looks a bit like PVA just top it up Oop, there you go and then squeeze her in there like that and then you've got a little bit of sort of smart liquid that will leak out over the next few hours um, obviously if it's a zig you're going to want to be putting it out for a couple of hours at a time or a few hours at a time so it looks like it you know on the demonstration videos that it does last that long so yeah another cool little idea whether it'll work god only knows Two, uh, bushwhacked out onto the new spot. I've also reset in daylight, which is handy because actually see where I'm going. Um, the other two long ranges, I actually had a lead out um, before that just to check the spot again, <clears throat> and I've changed it to 19 wraps. It's just that little bit clearer, a bit sort of another rod length further out. Um, the problem is before 18 wraps it's just weed there's a big weed bed that runs down the whole middle of the lake pond not lake um so you need to kind of be beyond that obviously if you get a fish it's going to dive straight in there but it is what it is so nearly coffee time everything's all set spotted a few probably three or four over the long range area and i've put literally a very small literally a handful in the bushwhacker so uh, hopefully i can nick a bite with a very small amount uh, like i said before it's just in line with this roadie here nine and a sh nine and a smidge wraps out just in line with that so if i get a take and he dies right waders will be on in the middle of the night um but nothing going on yet it's cold we've even had hailstones which is nice so time for a coffee six it's completely still <clears throat> six o'clock onwards you can hear the um, aeroplanes that he throw so we're in Windsor we're not that far away but this is what it's all about this morning 
absolutely beautiful. One last chance for a bite before I have to head home early for a few family commitments. Regardless, if it ends up being a blank, I've still loved it. So, blankety blank is what it is. Um, just piled the rest of my bait out, wasn't loads, but hopefully it encourages the spots to uh, be a bit more active for next time. I haven't actually seen any fizzing or any signs of fish. I was speaking to another member uh, when I arrived on Friday evening and he seems to think that on the, on the pond, um, they sort of start to show mid-March onwards and obviously at the back where n n not that many people can cast. Um, so yeah, another month or so might make all the difference uh, to even you know, trying to locate the fish first and foremost. So yeah, it's early, it's about half past seven. It's a shame because it's sort of, you know, having to get back for family time on Sunday means that you kind of miss a little bit of bite time, but there's always next time. So see you next time.